All right, let's do it. Um, pursuant to chapter 20 of the Acts of 2021 and extended again by chapter two of the Acts of 2023, this meeting will be conducted by a remote means. Members of the public who wish to access the meeting may do so in the following manner by emailing Steve McCarthy at McCarthyS at AmherstMA.gov. That's M-C-C-A-R-T-H-Y-S at AmherstMA.gov. No in-person attendance of members of the public will be permitted, but every effort will be made to ensure that the public can adequately access the proceedings in real time via technological means. In the event that we are unable to do so for reasons of economic hardship and despite best efforts, we will post on the, the Amherst website, the Amherst Town website, an audio or video recording, transcript, or other comprehensive record of proceedings as soon as possible after the meeting. And with that done, we'll call the meeting to order at 5.03 p.m. Um, and take a roll call. Dylan. Uh, here. Uh, Gaston. Here. Doug. Here. And I'm here. So we're four here and one absent. Helly may pop in at some point. Um, okay. So, oh, here she comes. Um, hi, hi, Helly. We just did our roll call of attendance. So if you want to okay. say, I'll say Helly. Here. Great. We're all here. Um, okay, so next up is public comment. Is there anyone here for public comment that is general public comment unrelated to anything on the agenda? And if so, you want to make such a comment, you hit the raise hand button at the bottom of your screen. And I don't see anyone here for public comment, so we can go to licenses. Um, a, Common Victualers License Renewal Application, CV-107, The Black Sheep Limited, 79 Main Street. Is there anyone here from The Black Sheep or are there any questions? I assume this is standard, right, Steve? Yeah, this is just a standard late one that came in and nothing nothing changed or anything. I don't believe they're coming. Okay, super. Um, if there are no questions about this Common Vic application from The Black Sheep, is there a motion to approve? So moved. Oh, thanks, Doug. Who would like to do the second? Okay. Thank you, Dylan. Any further discussion? If not, we'll take a vote. Uh, Dylan. Aye. Gaston. Aye. Uh, Doug. Aye. Hallie. Aye. And I vote aye. That is five to zero. The license application is approved. Um, next up is special short-term liquor license application SST-23-32. Michelle Cahan, Hitchcock Center for the Environment, 85 West Street. Um, October 1st, and it's a wine and malt. Um, okay. Is someone here for that one, Steve? That's somebody in the... Oh, hi, Casey. Right here. Should be coming right in. Okay. Hi, I think you're muted. Hi. Oh, there okay. you are. Now you're not <laughs> yeah. muted. Great. Welcome. And so you are, this is an event at the Hitchcock Center. Yeah. So um, it's our second event. Um, you all approved for us to do it last year as well. Um, it's a one-time event. It's a fundraiser. It's at the Hitchcock Center grounds. It's uh, Sunday, October 1st from three to six. Um, we've invited a few vendors, local brewers to come um, and offer offer their their tastings i can describe it more if you'd like but um you know it's sort of part of the event it's a meal um the fundraiser okay great thanks uh did everyone have a chance to look at the application if not it came in your packet a couple of days ago are there any questions about the event uh dylan uh yeah just how did it uh how to go last year uh smooth any lessons learned or yeah how'd it go it was great. It was very smooth. We loved it. That's why we're cho choosing to do it again. Um, you know, no issues. Our our venue worked really well for it. Um, the few vendors that came were happy. So yeah, it was it was smooth. Wonderful. Great. Um, yeah, so if there's no further questions, is there a motion to approve the short term license for the event at the Hitchcock Center for the Environment? So moved. Thanks, Doug. Is there a second? I will second. Oh, thank you, Hallie. Um, any further? Uh, that's all right. Any further questions? If not, um, we'll take a vote. Hallie. Doug. Aye. Gaston. Aye. Dylan. Aye. And I vote aye. That is five to zero. The application is approved.
thanks so Thank much you. for coming in and best Thank of you. luck with your thanks adventure. okay bye-bye okay. bye okay so next up um discussion topics rental registration bylaw steve just sent around i just got from mandy johanneke the updated versions um, so the CRC has voted to pass them under the town council. The town council is going to be talking about them on Monday. And um, then that's their first kind of pass through them. And then they're going to do a second uh, discussion in Tuesday. I mean, not Tuesday, September. <laughs> Don't know why I said that. Um, so if we have, if we'd like to go over it, if you want to maybe put it on the agenda for next time um, so we can look at it a little more thoroughly. If we have anything to add or change, um, those questions should go directly to Mandy. So, I I I would say let's put it on the agenda for next time. Okay. All right. That sounds good to everybody. All right. So um, we'll talk about that a little more thoroughly at the next meeting. Um, next up is marijuana regulation, and do we want to do the subcommittee update now is that kind of part of the whole thing or i think so yeah because we did meet last week um so and, oh i did hear oh sorry go ahead guest on oh no 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 i was just going to say we met and, and we came up with a kind of a strategy for the next session right and so we should we should definitely um update doug right okay so uh we were so Part of this is, and I just heard from Manny Johanneke, is that we wanted to find our point person on um, the town council. And Manny just wrote back to me and she said that she's probably the best contact. Um, Alyssa Butte Brewer, as we know, was their expert, but uh, due to a state committee she's serving on, she's been talking to her about it. And she can't make, we're gonna have our next Doug, um, subcommittee meeting on the 15th at nine in the morning. Um, she did. She does recommend reaching out to Alyssa and said she might have good insights. And I think we know from past years that she does. And she said she's fine with being the town council contact for it, um, even though she can't make it on the 15th in order to help the BLC shepherd any required bylaw. Um, so the board is able, I guess the board is, she says the board is able to sponsor general bylaws in front of the council per their rules. So it won't need a council sponsor but she can help us navigate the system. So that sounds good. So we decided Wonderful. to start looking at that. Yeah, that's great. So we can just do, get to work on that. So get to work on the, we sort of think with the bylaw language first and, um, and then move on to the regulations. And we were also gonna look at uh, the Worcester application. I mean, the Worcester license and a couple of other things, the CCC uh, guidelines and their, their laws. Was there anything else? Well, uh, yeah, I mean, Doug, what I, um, I guess one insight that we got to is that what we're looking at is a bylaw and regulations and moreover, trying to figure out what are the sweet spots of uh, the commission being able to do stuff in the future without going back to the council. Yeah. And um, uh, your, your first draft is in the, is in the form of internal regulations. And so, and so the suggestion that, that I made was how about I can try to just put all of the terms that are in your draft, in the Worcester law, in uh, present in the local uh, agreements and anything else we thought of so that we can go through it at that next uh, meeting of the, of the task force and just kind of say, okay, we, we want this and this seems like bylaw or this seems like regulation or this is not something we feel like we need to do and just kind of create a master list of the issues and where we think we'll locate them between those two documents. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. Okay, so those were our tasks for the next uh, subcommittee meeting. And um, that's gonna be on the 15th and we did nine in the morning just because it seemed to work out best for everybody. And we'd hope to keep it, I think, to like every other Thursday that we're not meeting as the Board of License Commissioners. So, all right, anything else on that? Oh yeah, go ahead, Dylan. Oh uh, yeah, I was gonna say, um, I was talking to my work and it looks like I should actually be able to make some time uh, for um, the subcommittee. It's something I'd like to work on a little bit more. So I figure, 
I'd like to officially join it. And if I'm going to officially join it as well, there's no point to not have Doug officially join it as well. So uh, would I be able to, uh, I'd like to make the motion to have uh, me and Doug join the subcommittee. Yeah, sure. So, Can we um, do that? I would interject that it, uh, at that point, it really defeats the purpose of the subcommittee um, <laughs> because the purpose is that um, a quorum of two could still meet um when if there's only three members but if there's five members then it would have the same quorum requirements as the full board but okay. if um everybody would be around on some week it could just be a regular board of license commissioners meeting with that the only topic on the agenda and that'd be perfectly and what, fine. what's the rule for four uh i believe it would be three at that point yeah oh really okay, okay. i mean because if it helps i can step off just for numbers and still join meetings but yeah, I think we've. I think when we set this up, we said people can step off if we wanted to keep it kind of small. And well, I mean, I would suggest if we if we can plan ahead of time, um, then um, you know, if, if any day that there would be three people confirmed to come, it could just be a regular board of license commissioners meeting. Okay. And then um, everybody would be able to participate anyway. There wouldn't be the you know subcommittee members and non subcommittee members and right. Um, so that that would okay. Well, what say, I, I, don't, I still think having a subcommittee, uh, you know, we have the advantage because that's the only thing that we're talking about that day. So it's not for regular business. So I don't know. We can we can change it up. I I'm sticking with my motion. Me and Doug on the subcommittee of the full the full members of this uh, full members this body. That's hey, that's uh, my motion. Well, let me yeah. Let, just a question, uh, Steve. So. Um, is there any difference bearing on agendas and public comment or anything else that would turn on whether it's deemed a, you know, unusually large subcommittee or a regular or just the regular quorum of meetings? Nope. Everything's pretty much the same. And okay. There's nothing, it would preventing just... a, there's nothing preventing a, a board of license commissioners meeting from just being purely, I mean, I okay. public comment always has to be on there. And then, okay topics not anticipated you always want to put on there but besides that it could be just um just marijuana regulation okay yes doug go ahead i'm not sure we have to have public comment at those meetings but i think you're required to have it to some extent but i don't know that you have to have it at every meeting but not that we're going to get a lot of public comment and sometimes we may not want it but right, right. Semantics okay are not that important i don't think it would be a big, big deal we can just leave it off is that required? Can we just? I don't know if that's a state law or just the Amherst town policy, but okay. um, we were advised to put that on every agenda. Okay. I don't think it hurts to have it on there. I think the key thing is that we just, you know, have meetings that are are fully focused on this because I think it's gonna, you know, it's a fair amount of work, and I think that's the intention behind what we're doing here is to get to that and, you know, um, keep it moving. I, okay. I, I mean, wh what I'm hearing is that it seems like, given the importance of this, and I guess you know the interest that Dylan has and and his availability work wise, that our quorum is not going to be such a concern. But I I think the advantage of having those focused meetings and having it be its own kind of process is is a uh, is considerable to help us kind of keep cruising along and and stay focused. Um, so I don't know if that's a reason to basically just say, oh, we have a we have a big subcommittee, but that's what we do, or we just run it like it's a subcommittee in the sense that it's kind of got its independent agenda and momentum. Well, we could just keep the sub. Uh, I guess we could just. Um, I don't know. Do we want to keep the 15th meeting? Does everybody want to make that? Or do we want to try? Who couldn't do Dylan? So what is your schedule like, Dylan? So you couldn't do the seven, the 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 tenth, right? Or no, Gaston, you needed more more time to do your your chart. And that was you're gonna you were gonna schedule that, correct? And so the tenth was gonna and, be too yeah. soon. Okay. The, well, yeah, the tenth is the tenth is is a tough uh date for me for a couple of reasons. Um okay. so if if that um if that morning is continues to work for folks, I can I can I can commit to delivering for that. Okay. What I what I suggested. 
All right, so we could either keep that and everyone can show up for the current subcommittee meeting or we could, and then we've got another BLC meeting standard on the 17th. And then we have, we could do, uh, or we could just move to the 24th and do either um, a subcommittee meeting or just a regular board of license commissioners meeting with just adult use marijuana on it and nothing else. Um, and Dylan, would that work? That would be at five. Would that work for your schedule? Or what is um, with your new your new work thing now? How is that gonna work? Um, so if so we're are we looking to not keep the meeting at the nine? I that's my question. Is everyone still want to do that? Or um either we keep that meeting and then do the 24th, or we just move do the 24th at five. Uh, I mean I can I can potentially do either. Okay. Uh, for meeting times. Okay. All right. Uh, I don't Doug? know what, what anybody else is. I like Tuesday morning, though. Okay. Doug? The morning of the 15th, I can't do, but I don't think it should stop you guys from keeping on. So if the four of you can get together, then go for it. Okay. All right. And the 24th, I'm available. So the 24th, you're available. Okay. Great. So does everybody else want to keep the 15th at nine in the morning? I, uh, yeah, I'm, 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 I, 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 I'm, I'm open to what people think here. Okay. Yeah, me too. Uh, Dylan and Hallie. Do you want to say we're going to try to get this for licenses for January? I'd say we continue if we realize that that may not happen. And I'm happy. I can do either day. So either whatever day. the group wants to do. Okay. Dylan, what do you think? How is uh, I mean, I, I, either one, as long as I know the dates, I can I can make sure I can have uh, the time to do it. Mornings are, are generally better for me, but um, okay. I can still. Uh... All right. So should we just keep the 15th and guest on if you can, you said you can schedule time to do the chart for then we can have. A, yes, perhaps I not will. Too, okay, we're not too long meeting. And that will just be the subcommittee. Do we want to expand that to include Dylan and Doug, or do we want to keep it in its current iteration manifestation? Uh, we well, I mean, we can and expand then, it. We can always reduce it later if we if we feel like we need to. Okay, great. So let's expand I, um, that. <laughs> Sorry, who's I, that? I this is Steve. I really um, I am coming against my limit of um, public. Uh, Public meeting laws and everything, okay. um, but I don't really know the um, if it is possible to have a subcommittee of every member of the board. Okay, I may have to ask around about this, but we could certainly keep the uh, the time and just make it a standard board of license commissioners meeting with just uh, just this on the agenda. Okay, let's do that then. Um. So 9 a.m. August 15th, Standard Board of License Commissioners meeting, just adult use marijuana on the agenda. And then the 17th is a Standard Board of License Commissioners meeting at five o'clock. And then the 24th, we do a uh, Board of License Commissioners meeting, five o'clock, just adult use marijuana on the agenda for discussion. And then Steve will look into making a larger subcommittee and see what the laws are. Does that sound good to everybody? In the meantime. Yes, okay. I will look into Does that. Does that sound, all right, Dylan, go ahead. Sounds good. So wait, Steve, you can do, you can, you can be on the staff for meetings so long as they're below a certain threshold of people, but the number of meetings you're on is irrelevant? No, I, I'm, I'm not sure what what you're asking. So I was I was saying that um you know the reason for the subcommittee was just so that work could continue with a focused group of th of you know three people who were the most focused on it and um and uh and and then um only a quorum of two would be needed. But if um four or five people are on the on the uh, subcommittee, then the normal quorum of three is needed, which was the the point of the subcommittee, if I recall our discussions. But um I don't know if it is. I'm not really um, well versed in subcommittees at all. It's not something I've ever dealt with. So um, I don't know if it is possible to make a subcommittee of every member of the board. I uh, am happy. I, 
Sorry, Hattie. I, I can. I was going to say I can step down and still attend the meetings. We do live in a very vocal town, so I don't want to do anything that could be perceived as us trying to bypass any kind of open meeting law yeah. or, or and yeah. you know to have a subcommittee of the entire right. I mean, I'm board yeah, might I'm, be. I'm happy. Like, I don't have to be on the subcommittee either. Um, so I'm happy if Dylan and Doug want to be on it. I'm happy to. I, I mean, I don't and just really know it. the. Um, the ramifications of um, non subcommittee members attending. I, I mean, again, this is not something I'm really, but I think they would just have to be treated like any member of the public where, you know, they raise their hands for comment. And if they're allowed to speak the entire time, I don't know if you can have different, different, um, you know, than a member of the public who's not in the board could be oh, okay. not allowed to speak the same amount of time. I don't really know the ramifications of these things. Um, okay. But I would. But the regular board of license commissioners meeting with just the just that in the agenda will certainly work and just be like normal. So um, okay. if the board wants me to look more into a five member subcommittee or those other ramifications, I certainly can. But at least for this upcoming meeting, I would suggest to just make it a normal board meeting. OK, so as long as we have three people for the 15th at 9 a.m., we're good, right? Yes. OK, great. OK, and then we'll figure out the subcommittee intricacies. A little bit later. Um, okay, does that sound good to everybody? Uh, Dylan has his hand up. Oh, sorry, Dylan. Go ahead. Yeah, I, I just I don't want to be like coy about this while I'm going for it. Like I know on this issue, this is something I care about, um, and I would like to take a more active role in like the subcommittee and potentially try to lead on this issue. But uh, okay. I don't want to do that in terms of trying to, you know take take lead on the on the board of licensing uh so i like the idea of it being a separate body but okay. if that's going to be too cumbersome i think we can take a different approach on it as well but i like it being separate uh for that reason but i also want everybody to be you know able to participate fully in it so i guess that's why i want to expand the board but keep it a, a separate body or a sub right right uh, right Right. Well, I think we planned that like the the subcommittee would work on the off weeks and then update everybody on the the regular weeks. So that could certainly happen. Um, and that can because we with we're not just gonna... a, just a focus. I mean, there's certainly yeah. nothing improper at all about a meeting every week and every other week is strictly about marijuana and the other meetings are about regular right. business. That's certainly perfectly kosher. Okay. So so we've got a we, we we've agreed that we want a separate kind of discourse a separate space and and we'll figure out the uh kind of nuance of of how to structure it next time and i'm hearing that uh, dylan yes. wants to wants to kind of is willing to step up and 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 push forward on this and and so that is good good for the commission okay great so um so the 15th nine o'clock um that's great and that's a regular meeting all right fantastic thank you um anything else on this currently let me say good night sorry um okay so we did kind of covered marijuana regulation subcommittee update marijuana regulation um upcoming meetings agendas i think we just did that is there anything else we want to keep rental registration on? Um, any other discussion items? Uh, Steve, anything that you know is coming up soon? Um, lunch carts, I would like to um, oh, right. really move lunch forward carts. with that. I just have to follow up with the town engineer who's on vacation right now, but um, okay. I think we might have uh, you know, maybe some um, draft altered regulations to allow for uh, the plan as it has been discussed to uh, go forward in um, in the fall on a trial basis. So we okay. will probably have that on for then. Okay, and great. Then I do think we have a couple minor liquor license applications coming in, but nothing nothing huge. Okay, sounds good. Managers, things like that. Fantastic. Oh, did you ever find out about Garcia's? Did they ever su submit a change I of manager? I spoke with him this week and he said he would be submitting it this week. Oh, good. Okay, that's great. Thank you. And how is the update from, oh, are we in, what about the um, inter, interim police chief and the ABCC? 
Uh, he definitely had said he would be reaching out. I haven't, um, I haven't uh, heard back from him about that. Okay, great, thank you. Um, is there anything else for upcoming meetings and agendas? No, all right. Um, let's see, topics not reasonably anticipated 48 hours prior to meeting. Any topics? No, okay. And then we go on to adjournment. So is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. Thanks, Doug. Is there a second? Second. Thank you, Dylan. Um, we'll take a vote. Doug. Aye. Hallie. Aye. Gaston. Aye. Dylan. Aye. And I vote aye, five to zero. We're adjourned at 5.28 PM. Thanks, everybody. Um, good to see you all. Aye. And Hope you're feeling better, Steve. People. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I appreciate that. I'd say I'm about 85% of the way there. Thank you. Nice. All right. All right. All right. Bye. Thanks. Good luck. Bye, Thank you. Bye. Bye. Yep. Bye. Bye.